Hey guys, what's up? So here I am with Satish from SJBIT, fourth semester. So today now we're going to learn the program binary search. <clears throat> so what is binary search actually? What we do here is we'll we have certain values and we'll um, check in the procedure like we'll initially check it for the middlemost value whether it is we'll compare with middle value with the key value if it is lesser we'll go for this part and we'll find the middlemost value again we'll find which is lesser and we'll go that to that part like that we used to do in binary search so this same applies here too so more dot model uh, dot model small dot data so cr is carriage return 13 lf is line field 10 so array we are going to initialize one array these are the values actually we are giving here 1 1 2 2 t 3 4 4 4 4 5 5 5 5 6 6 so it's a data word so it occupies uh, one second yeah i'm back again so dw it's defined word so it occupies 16 bit so it that is it takes two locations so each location is of 18 8 bits right <coughs> so we are going to initialize this in an array so like this 1 1 2 2 2 3 4 5 3 3 4 4 4 4 5 5 one second i'll be back so here we are we have initialized the array now it is array so these are the address locations for the array and it is ended with dollar symbol so it's actually dollar symbol have will be stored here not in next position it will be there so um actually in, since it is so okay i will go to next instructions i'll tell you later so len data word again so len value is dollar minus array divided by 2 so dollar is 11 11 minus array is that is 0 divided by 2 that is it comes like 5.5 it takes the 5 so if, the, since it is taking two locations for each value so if you divide it by 2 it will give the length of the array so here we are we got the length of the array is 5 so since there are 5 elements and search key which key we are going to search we are in, in this case we are going to search for 2 3 4 5 okay so su success suck message that is element phone if it is phone then the message success message will get displayed if it is not phone then it will uh, display the fail message that is element not phone and result right so code segment starts now dot code mm. one second sorry so move x comma data move ds comma ax so these things you know about it so bx comma one so since we are going to search for the uh, at least for one value right so if we are initializing bx is equal to one for that move dx comma len uh, length of the um, um, array will be moved to dx now after that dx is equal to 1 and dx is equal to 5 now after that um, move cx comma search key so cs will be having the search key so what is search key 2 3 4 5 after that compare bx comma dx so we will compare these two value so if bx is greater then it will go to failure because initially what we will do here is we will check it for we will find the um, middlemost position and from that we will go into so compare with cx value so in here uh, which is middlemost position is um, 6 to right 4 4 5 5 will be the middlemost position maybe I guess I guess so we will check it later so we will direct to middlemost position so the search key is lesser then dx value will be decremented if search value is greater then bx value will be incremented so like this we are going to do now so we will check it now see ya so we'll compare so it is not it is lesser so this failure won't get execute so it will go to move ax comma bx so bx will be moved to ax that the ax is equal to 1 after that add ax comma bs so we're going to add these two that is 6 is going to become 6 and we're going to divide by shift right means it's equal to divide by 2 right so ax will become 6, 3 now so if you see here this part will make the si register value si index value to even numbers because every time if you check out here 0 0 is even 2 4 at these positions only the new value will be getting so from 0 if you check means 11 2 2 it's a combination of a single uh, element 
So next year element starts from at even only. So in order to make it even, so we're going to do these instructions so that the index register will be having a even value. So check it, move si comma ax. So si um, ax this value three will be moved to si and then decrement si. So si is now two now. After that, add si comma si. That is si will become four now. Okay. So that array of four, that is this position will be three three four five will be compared to two three four five. So if it is lesser, then we will go for below this part. If it is greater, we are going to go on going for bigger part. So some jump above equal. In this case, two three four five three three four four. So it is lesser. So this won't get executed. If it is bigger, then it will go to bigger part. And if it is equal, it will move to success and the displays the success message. If it is not, it will again increment ax and ax will be moved to bx. Again, the comparison starts from the beginning. Again, it will start from here. So in, in our case, it is lesser. So we will go for decrement ax. So ax will be decremented. That is ax will be equal to 2 now. After that, uh, it will move to dx. So dx will become 2 now. dx will become 2. After that, again jump again. So jump again means again this value will be compared. That is bx is equal to 1 and new value dx is equal to 2. So these two will be compared. It is again lesser. So it is not above. So the failure won't get executed. Again it will go for next. That is again the same execution occurs. So initially we are checking for this. It is not. So we are going moving the uh, index value to here. So next it will check for this. Because it is less it is going to check for the upper part. So this is also not equal. So it will go for now if you compare with this to this, this is bigger. So jump above equal bigger this this instruction will get executed. So this instruction will get executed. After that it goes to bigger. Now increment ax, move ax to bx. Again it will compare, it won't be equal. So again you will get incremented, again you will check for this position. So this at this position jump above equal bigger. Again this will get executed. After that uh, jump equal bigger also will get executed. It's actually equal. Okay, jump equal success. So since it is equal, it will move to success now. That is a comma zero. That clears the contents of EL register and that value will be moved to result. Okay, then uh, result we have initialized one variable here. Actually, it's here. Okay. After that, um, load effective address dx comma success message. So it will display jump display means it will display the success message if it is not if you some somehow if it is not present in the whole array so it will um, bx value will be increment uh, should be uh, uh, will be higher than the dx value so this instruction will get executed after that it will come here it will display the fail message and it will terminate the program so that is the binary search is all about and we'll catch up in next video bye bye